Alright guys, um, this is something um, interesting I found with these meters. So I know some of you know that they're not very accurate and I'm going to do a test with TechStream to prove that it's not accurate. I find that if I drive at about like 100 k's an hour, I'm actually doing 90. So, you know, it's not accurate and the RPM seems to be off a bit. So let's just have a look at the test. So I've got text stream loaded here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yeah, I should be able to see it. So let's check the speedometer. So I'm going to cycle it through the speeds. So let's go. That's 40. So if you have a look here. It says 40, and look what I'm getting at the meter. About, just above 40. Let's go to the next one, it's 80. I'm getting close to 90 on the meter. And if I do 120, I'm getting close to 130. 160, and it's like doing 170. So, that's kind of strange, I find. I don't really like it. Now, next one. Let's try, we'll do the rev counter or tachometer or RPM meter, whatever you want to call it. So let's see, the first one is zero, which is, yeah, zero is good. Cycle to the next one, 1000, yeah, that seems okay. 2000 also seems okay. Now, see, 3,000 seems a little bit above 3,000. 4,000 also a little bit above. A little bit above. And 6,000. And, well, my car can't even reach 7,000, so I don't know why they put that test in. So, I mean, if you look a little bit from the driver's point of view, it does, you know, the, I don't know, parallax error or something. But still, you know, it's a little bit above what I'd like. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think about that.